learned earlier in histamine and the cycle of illness is that damage and injuries to the gut can cause a host of health issues. 70 to 80 percent of your immune system resides in your digestive tract. Small masses of lymphatic tissues in the small intestine, known as pyre patches, protect mucous membranes by releasing white blood cells and monitoring the bacterial population in the intestines, preventing an overgrowth of harmful gut flora. High numbers of toxic gut biomes may cause inflammation, compromise your immune system, and is linked to chronic diseases, autoimmune disorders, musculoskeletal pain, and mental health issues, and it can all start in your gut. A damaged gut will also produce less DAO, which combats histamine buildup in your body, also triggering inflammation and immune responses. Also, when the gut is badly damaged, it does not move food through your intestines as well as it should, leaving food to sit in your gut and start fermenting, which will also drastically raise the histamine burden, cause further damage, and create infections or bacterial overgrowths. Multiple aspects of our health depend on molecules produced in the gut microbiome. The health of the gut microbiome is reflected in many processes in our bodies, including chronic inflammation and associated disease risk. The gut microbiome is a delicate ecosystem of bacteria that live in your large intestine. It's not only important for your physical health, but for your mental health as well. Stress causes alterations in the gut microbiome, causing dysbiosis a term used for microbial imbalance or maladaption. Dysbiosis has been shown to significantly increase anxiety levels. They're also shown that chronic stress can reduce levels of important probiotic bacteria called lactobacillus. Studies in humans have shown that the probiotic bacteria can help alleviate depression, increase stress resilience, and relieve anxiety. Research also suggests that the gut bacteria talk directly to the brain and influence chemicals like serotonin and gamma amino acid, or GABA. Mast cells are also fundamental elements in the intestinal barrier as they regulate the epithelial function and integrity, modulate both innate and adaptive mucosal immunity, and maintain neuroimmune reactions, which are key to functioning of the gut. There are certain molecules that the gut makes that helps with our health, and unfortunately, the human body can't make them, but our bacteria can. Butyrate is a short-chain fatty acid produced by microbes from dietary fibers that the human body cannot digest. Butyrate is one of the best studied microbiome-derived molecules for its broad benefits for our health. First of all, it helps to maintain the integrity of our digestive tract and supplies most of the fuel for our cells in the gut lining. By doing so, it bolsters this barrier and helps prevent metabolites, food particles, and unwanted bacteria from crossing into the body from the intestines. Low butyrate production and below average levels of butyrate producing bacteria are found in many inflammatory and metabolic diseases including Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. Butyrate also helps modulate the immune system by reducing the production of tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin-6, and these are highly found inflammatory markers for those with inflammation or autoimmune disorders. Butyrate also promotes anti-inflammatory signaling. By doing so, this chemical promotes healthy and balanced microbiota and even protect, protects against colon cancer. Butyrate can also be beneficial in healing the gut. Boosting butyrate with diet is easy and low, low risk for most of us. A high fiber diet can boost butyrate production because it encourages the butyrate producing bacteria in your colon to thrive. But if you're here, chances are you won't be able to tolerate many of these items. So for those of us with healing our guts and keeping inflammation markers lower, a good primal earth probiotic is better. If we're having serious gut issues and it's damaged, high fiber will only make symptoms worse but we can combat chronic inflammation with lifestyle, diet, and gut microbiomes. Chronic inflammation is influenced by what we eat. Diet has a strong impact on the microbiome and preventable disease risks. Dietary fiber enables beneficial bacteria to produce butyrate, which is important to keep our gut healthy, but that's not the only way your food choices affect chronic inflammation. Researchers developed the Dietary Inflammatory Index to indicate how anti or pro-inflammatory a person's diet is. 
According to studies, the standard American diet has a particularly high inflammatory index. Also called the Western diet, this eating pattern is characterized by high quantities of red and processed meat, fried foods, high-fat dairy products, potatoes, and sweetened drinks. Some scientists also add prepackaged meals to this list. Some consequences of a pro-inflammatory diet may seem unexpected. For example, young adults on a Western diet are more likely to develop symptoms of depression. When coupled with low physical activity, the standard American diet is associated with higher risk of age-related weakening of the bones, osteoporosis. The two diets suggested commonly by doctors for low inflammatory diets is the Mediterranean diet and the ketogenic diet. Because eating habits have such an influence over chronic inflammation levels, your body will thank you for a balanced and diverse diet with a variety of whole plant-based foods, fruits, and vegetables. To find out the health of your microbiome and to test your levels of butyrate, there are tests you can order online that will help you determine the health of your microbiome. These are some of the most notorious medications for disrupting healthy gut bacteria, but they're not the only ones that can cause havoc. I can't stress enough how important a healthy gut is. Initially, if you're uh, having a really hard time with a lot of inflammation, going on a fasting water diet for a few days will help quiet the inflammation, help your body to detox a little bit, and help reduce the pain so that you can start your healing process. 